On this week's show, I'm at Silverson watching the team filming at the circuit. I'm also going behind the scenes at the factory, and I've got all the facts you need ahead of this weekend's Russian Grand Prix. So let's look back to last year's Russian Grand Prix. Now, it was the first time that modern day Formula One had visited Russia, and the chosen location was Sochi and it was an awesome weekend for the team. They scored a 1-2 with Lewis winning the race and Nico managed to work his way up from 20th to second place. That was after that infamous lockup on lap one, meaning he had to pit for a set of medium compound tires and run all the way to the finishing line. That 1-2 meant that the team secured the Constructors' Championship last year in Russia. And that is why we have hashtag world champions at the front of Lewis's car in the team's reception. Now let's find out what Lewis thought of last year's Russian Grand Prix. Last year we had an amazing race there actually and it was the first race uh, that I'd experienced in Russia. The track was really well put together. It's quite long, definitely places to overtake. I really enjoyed racing there. The good thing about uh, winning there last year is obviously we've got the confidence going in on a high this year. I hope they have the right package that we can fight. So what can we expect this weekend? Here are my facts for the Sochi Grand Prix. So first of all, a tyre update. Pirelli have decided to bring softer tyres this weekend compared to last year's race. They're bringing the super soft and the soft compounds. And that's to make it a bit more exciting. It means we might see two, even three stops compared to last year when Nico and Lewis only stopped once. So that's gonna make it exciting out on the track. In terms of weather, well, it's raining here in Brackley, but it's set to be 22 degrees in Sochi over the weekend. The problem is though, it's located right by the sea, which means it could rain, especially with the mountains nearby. At the moment though, it looks like it's going to be dry. So no need for the intermediate and the full wets, probably this weekend. And the most exciting part about this weekend, well, it is that Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team could seal the championship if they beat Ferrari by four points. So keep an eye on the channel and all of our social media channels to follow what goes on this weekend. It could get very exciting. Right now though, let's go behind the scenes at the factory and I'm gonna show you some secret special places. I've got three cool locations to show you at the factory. The first stop has to be the Monster Energy fridges. Check it out. It's packed full of Monster Energy drinks. Our cool partners, Monster, stock it full for us to keep the boys and girls going strong here at Brackley. Don't mind if I do. Next door. And to work off the Monster Energy drinks, the guys and girls come to the team's gym. And it's a fully kitted out gym. We've got the running machines. We've got loads of cycle bikes for spinning. There's a fully equipped weight section down there. And it's all because the guys and girls need to be incredibly fit in Formula One. And when the team's worked out, they need feeding. So this is the team's cafeteria. And they're firing up the ovens because it's nearly lunchtime. I've had my lunch, let's head to Silverstone to find out what the team are doing there today. So if you like my behind the scenes tour of the factory, why not comment below, tell me what you think. And also, if there's somewhere in the factory that you would like to see, why not let me know too. Just comment below and I'll see what I can do. Now we're back at Silverstone and we are coming to watch the team who are filming here on track. And we've got Pascal Verlain here. Hi, Pascal. Hello. Um, now, some of you at home might not know who Pascal is, but you are very important for the team. Can you tell us what you do for the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team? Yes, so since one year I'm the reserve driver. Um, before I was driving a lot the simulator, so I was, um, I'm in the team since one and a half years now. Um, sometimes I'm testing on track, but most of the time I'm driving the simulator. Um, then I'm driving in DTM, it's the German Touring Car Series with Mercedes, BMW and Audi. At the moment I'm leading the championship and <laughs> yeah, one more race to go. So one more race to go and the championship is yours for the taking, isn't it? How does that feel with one race left of the season? Yeah, it's very cool because we were working 
really hard over the winter and the last two years were not that successful. Um, last uh, year I won one race but um, we are struggling a lot with, with the pace and this year we are fighting for the championship so that's very cool. So you've really made a step on this year? Yes. So today there's been some filming going on, you've been out on track, it has been pouring here at Silverstone and it's usually like this, I think it's always quite That's wet always. here. Um, what, have you been out, what have you been doing? You've been driving one of the cars. Yes, yeah, so I was driving the Formula 1 car here today um, with another car filming me, so a very cool car with a big camera on it and um, I was driving 50 miles per hour only so you get very impatient in the car you want to drive faster but um, I can imagine that's that's a some way off the speed that you'd be going in a Formula yeah, 1 car normally. Yeah. So you're driving in the in the pit limiter. So And it's um, been very wet. So when was the last time you were out in a Formula 1 car? Um, it was two or three months ago in Spielberg in Austria after the Formula 1 race there was a test and um, I was driving one day for Mercedes and one day for Force India. Exciting stuff. Uh, we've got DTM in 10 days time, your last race. Next year, what's your kind of ambition? Where do you see yourself in Formula One? I hope that I can have a cockpit for next year in Formula One, but um, at the moment I don't really think about it because I just want to finish this season in DTM. Um, and for sure now I want to be champion in DTM and um, I have to concentrate on that because if you start to think about other things, then you lose concentration and your focus and then um, you can see it in your performance. So that's why I really want to concentrate and then after the last race we, we can discuss what, what will happen next year. Exactly, one step at a time. Well, good luck in DTM at Hockenheim. We'll all Thank be you. watching. Keep an eye on the channel. We're going to have some more videos with Pascal coming up over the next few weeks. That's it for today's studio show. I hope you've enjoyed our behind the scenes look at the factory, our time here at Silverson. We've had an awesome time watching the cars go around the track. Comment below, let us know what you think, and I'll be back next week. Bye, Pascal. Thank you. See you next Bye -bye. week. Bye.